All right, this is the first video on German expansion and the international response to that from 1938 to 1940. Hopefully you've already read the section on German expansion from 33 to 1938. This video in particular will focus on challenging the post-war settlement after 1937, specifically the Anschluss with Austria in 1938. Following the shakeup of his military command in 1937 after the Hossbach Conference, Hitler was in a position to start taking more risk in his foreign policy. The first of these was the takeover of Austria. The next would be the takeover of the Sudetenland in Czechoslovakia. These actions completed the revision of the post-war settlement and also put Hitler in a position to pursue his goal of Liebensraum in the east. Since the failed attempt at Austrian conquest in 1934 during the Dolphus Affair, Germany had been boycotting Austrian goods and putting pressure on the Austrian Nazi party to help them secure political control. By 1938, the situation was ripe for German conquest. The Rome-Berlin axis meant Italy was no longer opposed to Austrian-German unification, and Germany was generally in a much stronger military position than it was during the Dolphus Affair in 1934. In February of 1938, Hitler demanded the Austrian government appoint a Nazi Party member as Minister of Public Security in charge of police. He argued that only Nazi Party members could successfully fight off the threat of communist revolution, which they believed was in imminent in Austria. Also, Hitler demanded Austria release Nazi party members from jail and lift the ban on the party. The Austrian chancellor reluctantly agreed to these demands in order to stave off a German invasion. That wasn't enough for Hitler. Hitler began claiming in rhetoric that millions of Austrians wanted to unite with Germany and were being oppressed by the government of Austria. Austria's chancellor decided he would hold a plebiscite to undermine Hitler's claim. On March 13th, voters were to be asked whether they just wanted to uh, join with Germany or not, known as the Anschluss. Before that could happen, on March 11th, Hitler claimed riots had broken out in Austria against the government and a communist revolution was near if German forces did not move in and help stop this revolt. Once it became clear that Italy, Britain, and France were all going to refuse to intervene, the Chancellor of Austria resigned and was replaced by a Nazi party member who asked for German help in putting down this supposed revolt. There was no actual street violence happening, by the way. On March 12th, German troops entered Austria to a triumphant crowd in some places, as seen here. On March 13th, Austria was annexed to Germany. A plebiscite in April supposedly confirmed that 99% of Austrians supported the Anschluss or unification. You can see the ballot here, though. The international response to the unification was weak. In the past, the most ardent objector to this would have been Italy. However, they were now an ally of Germany. The League of Nations had already shown it was not willing to respond to border crises, with Manchuria in 1931 and Ethiopia in 1935. Further, the unification was done legally on the surface and thus looked proper in the eyes of the international community. Most of Western Europe was also focused on the war in Spain, where fascist and communists were fighting each other in the Civil War. France was especially concerned with a potential refugee crisis on their border with Spain and thus wasn't too worried about Austrians legally uniting with Germany. British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain expressed displeasure at the Anschluss but stated it was perfectly legal. Many, in fact, saw a strong Germany 
as a bulwark against Stalin and the Communist Soviet Union. The Anschluss with Austria and the lack of an international response began the history of what would be called appeasement of Hitler from Western democratic nations. Appeasement is a pejorative term used by opponents of the policy who saw it as giving in to Hitler's demands. At its heart, it was the policy of working with Germany to ease Versailles Treaty conditions, according to its supporters. Modern historians see appeasement as misunderstood. It's traditionally seen as weak, when in reality it was a little more complex than that in an attempt by most to avoid war. Most felt Germany had actually been unfairly punished, and so they tended to be uh, okay with uh, what was happening with Hitler. They were, they were willing to give in to some of what he, he was demanding. However, on the other hand, there are many that see Hitler as taking advantage of that and asking for more and more with little repercussions or punishment. Regardless, Austria was the beginning of a slow trek towards expansion of German borders that would next include Czechoslovakia. <laughs>